Hey, what's up, y'all? Duke CT here. Um, listen, I know I'm not really watching Ring of Honor, but um, I think it's a very good company. I watch some of it. I'm not, I'm not in depth with the knowledge or years or anything else, but it, it is an interesting. And I actually start watching the stuff, and I actually am pretty much enjoying myself for through um, you know YouTube and watching all their stuff on the ROH Video Wire or the shows on the ROH Brazil, you know, all that stuff. Or uh, watching their HD Net show. But now it seems like they're losing a lot of talent. Not just um, young talent, but in pillars to their company. First, Brian Delinson, now, as you much heard, uh, Nigel McGinnis. Um, I heard he actually is a very, I saw some of his stuff, he's very good in the ring. Uh, I like his personality, his character is really nice. But the one thing I hope, I really, really hope, is that they get like new personalities and new situations. Not piggyback on their same type of thing. To me, I think it's a lot, I think it says more, I mean, I think it would be a lot better for their careers if they came out something different. If they do so, I mean, if it's good, yeah, good on down, do something at least different. Because if they fail, they can easily just come back to their own gimmick without any type of hurt or any type of thing. Now, I'm not saying put them in a mask and have being like um, Hornswoggle's cousin or somewhat, but, you know, something like, you know, something realistic, something that, you know, you see, you know, something that's not ludicrous nor extreme or anything else. Something that's plausible. Inexplainable in the WWE universe, but this is a very but uh, but not the case. This is a big pillar for the to a Ring of Honor. Losing the, I mean losing that stuff. I mean what's next? I mean what I mean if 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 these two care these guys are gone, one what would happen to say Tyler Black would leave, or Austin Aries? It's a very very when you lose pillars like that, it's going to hurt your company, and it looks like it's going to hurt this uh, Ring of Honor. Uh, thing really bad, and I'm hoping that maybe, just maybe, uh, Vince is realizing, which I hope TNA is realizing, and I think they are, that these guys, Triple H and Shawn Michaels and Undertaker, these guys aren't gonna last that long. And I'm hope that he's like saying, we gotta get, get these new characters, and we gotta get new guys. And I think he's smart enough to realize that he has to start pushing younger guys and newer faces. If not, they're not gonna do anything. They're not, they're not gonna be uh, struggling. They're gonna be um, completely gone. You know, they're going to be completely and utterly just, um, you know, like WCW, the point that, you know, the only two guys, young faces they have is John Cena and Randy Orton. And they need, they need these more pillars. They need more pillars. As much as y'all bitch about Triple H or Shawn Michaels or saying anything else, they need more pillars. They're pillars. Um, they need to get more pillars in their business. If they don't get any more pillars in WWE, they're going to be in a shitload of trouble. You know? Because let me tell you, Jeff Hardy's leaving. You have Edge injured. Rey Mysterio is now suspended. So, they're going to need some pillars, mostly SmackDown. And if y'all want to talk about SmackDown, um, don't, uh, speaking of SmackDown, turn on my radio show, um, Duke CT Lounge, and talk about it. Uh, I'm going to put down numbers and everything else in the description. Call at 11 o'clock. So you can talk about SmackDown and and all the other stuff, you know, if you don't want to talk about some wrestling, we'll try to talk something else to try to fit in the theme of it. Like replacing uh, important people, trying to make things a lot better. But, you know, I really think that SmackDown needs a lot of help. And I have some good ideas my, myself. And hopefully bounce that ideas off of y'all. And uh, one thing before I go is uh, TNA. They seem to, uh, rumor has that TNA has released Angelia Love. Um, Angel Love is, I think, honestly, one of the most over heels in, this co in the company, not in the knockout division. And the reason why is because her visa expired. And, well, if, and this rumors has this, that funny thing is, her contract was up. Still reporting that the contract's up. And, um, all this other stuff. I'm which I'm calling, um, until, like, say a couple days from now uh, by the pay-per-view I think 
I call bullshit because I don't really see um, any chance. No, no, no. I don't think this is really gonna happen because she's one of the most older people in the town. Older people, and I don't think Tina is gonna. I think Tina is gonna rectify this. I think she's gonna be signed with a brand new contract, and um, she's gonna be signed with a brand new contract. Her visa stuff will be taken care of. You know, that's all. Um, uh, if I'm wrong, email me, um, PM me, um, comment, video response. If I'm wrong, anything I've just said or anything. It's, you know, because I, I try to do that. I mean, we don't know. No one really knows. And these guys are taking stabs in the dark. As much as they are. It's true or not. We just It's just something that, um, it's just stabs. Unless, stabs unless it's a taping they have going to, we don't know. So, we don't know what's really going on with TNA's workings. Because they seem to got in the right ship in direction, and I loved Impact, by the way. Whew, man. They've been on a roll, man, since um, Dixie Carter's been taking the reins. And hopefully, and when and if and when Jeff Jarrett comes back, I don't want the shit hitting the fan. I don't want this, this, this thing stopping. Because I am enjoying myself. And if they screw, I swear to you, if Jeff Jarrett gets any feasible amount of power, that company is going to be just look even worse. I mean, the ratings are getting back up. People are enjoying themselves. My sister, who actually sat and watched the stuff with me, enjoyed the match. Enjoyed uh, seeing Drew McIntyre. Um, it was that's his name. Uh, the British one of the guys the British version. You know, someone's going to correct me. Um, against AJ Styles, she's like, "Wow, this guy, this is actually pretty cool." And she actually liked it. She liked the match, and hopefully, she's going to probably tell more people about it. And, well, and then she left and talking about, you know, she had to go and, you know, do her stuff, uh, you know, do her um, work and everything that she does. And, and I, I mean, you know, she enjoyed herself. And hopefully, maybe if people, hopefully maybe more people come in and uh, more non-fans um, will get into it. Anyway, just Dixie T. Peace and love. Now, excuse me, I'm going to go back and watch it now. Smackdown, and uh, looks like the Kali and uh, Kane tag match is about to be over, so peace and love, I'll see y'all when I see y'all, one. Oh, see y'all later at 11 o'clock, DCT Lounge, see y'all, one.